The next stage of the Earth's evolution was incredibly violent. As these 20 planets orbited the Sun, their gravity affected each other and they began to collide. With each collision, two planets combined. Over time, these collisions reduced the inner solar system to just a few planets, including Venus, Mercury, Mars, and Earth. Astronomers believe that the Earth grew to this stage in around 30 million years. We are now just five minutes into our story. But what was early Earth like? What would happen if a human had landed here? The energy from the collisions with other planets made the Earth incredibly hot. At around 5,000 Celsius, its temperature is more than five times that inside a cremation furnace. A human would almost instantly disappear in a puff of steam and ash. But even as our planet cools down, another danger threatens. A storm of charged particles is approaching the young Earth. It's so intense that it could end all chance of life. Boulder, Colorado. At the Space Environment Center, meteorologists monitor the storms on the sun. It's the most extreme weather you're likely to see. A light breeze out there is 200 miles per second and a low temperature is over 4,000 Celsius. Around-the-clock surveillance is necessary because storms on the sun affect us here on Earth. Space scientist Rodney Virek knows just how deadly the sun can be. The sun is a, is a large explosion and from that explosion energetic particles are released. These particles make up the solar wind and they travel towards Earth at speeds of up to one million miles an hour. If the solar wind becomes too strong, it can kill. We watch the sun, and when we see something that may produce energetic particle events here at Earth, we try and warn astronauts, even airlines, about these types of events. The charged particles in the solar wind are a form of radiation that can cause lethal damage to living cells. An intense solar storm could kill an astronaut caught in space. But the solar wind can also have a devastating effect on planets. The Earth is surrounded by an atmosphere, a thin layer of gases that protects it from the extreme temperatures of outer space. But when the charged particles in the solar wind hit a planet's atmosphere, they can strip it away. You can see how destructive the wind can be by looking at Mars. Over millions of years, the solar wind has blown most of its atmosphere away. Now there is no liquid water on the surface. Too little air to breathe. This could have been the fate of the Earth. So why wasn't it? To answer that, we must return to the moment of Earth's creation. As the early Earth was forming, the energy released as material hit the planet produced heat. The heat became so intense that even rock melted. The lightest elements in the molten Earth rose to the surface, while the heaviest elements, including iron, sank down towards the center. Here they formed a molten core. It's this iron core that protects us from the deadly effects of the sun's rays. Exactly how the Earth's core protects us is a mystery that drives the research of Dan Lathrop. In his laboratory at the University of Maryland, he spins scale models of the core to study how it behaves. The Earth's core has dynamo action that makes a magnetic field. And that's a process where 
currents in the liquid iron cause magnetic fields. Lathrop has found that the spinning motion of the core creates a magnetic shield that surrounds the Earth. So you can see it's mostly actually symmetric, but you're getting small details that are rotating around at the inner sphere. To show how it does this, Lathrop has rigged up a simple high school experiment. We can see how the currents produce magnetic fields with this simple demo. I just take some iron filings and uh, sprinkle them down around this coil of wire. The coil of wire represents the core of the Earth. The iron filings will reveal the shape of any magnetic field. And then hook the coil up to a power supply. You can see the iron filings line up with the magnetic field lines, and the magnetic field lines are passing through the center of the coil and looping around the ends. The electricity in the coil produces a magnetic field. The same thing happens on a larger scale with the Earth's core. Its magnetic field gives our planet its north and south poles. It also extends far out into space it's called the magnetosphere, and this is what protects us from the solar wind. As particles from the sun fly towards the Earth, the magnetosphere blocks their path. Those that get through are deflected towards the poles. Here, as they enter the Earth's atmosphere, they react with molecules in the air to create the aurora. The northern and southern lights. Today, the solar wind still erodes our atmosphere. But thanks to the magnetosphere, the loss is not life-threatening. It's been estimated that between five and 10 pounds a second of our atmosphere are dragged out into the solar wind. Fortunately for us, even at that rate, the amount of time it would take to deplete our atmosphere would be many times the life of the sun. The magnetic field produced by the iron in the center of the Earth played a vital role in our planet's evolution. Without it, we wouldn't have any air to breathe. On our clock, in which 12 hours represents the whole history of the Earth, just six minutes have passed. The Earth still doesn't look like the planet we know, but could a human survive on its surface? It's possible that the Earth may have cooled enough for a human to survive in a heat-resistant suit. And thanks to its iron core, our planet is now protected from the solar wind. But there is still no oxygen or water on the Earth. We wouldn't last a minute. Worse still, if a human could survive, they would be in for a shock an astonishing event is about to take place. The Earth is on a collision course with another planet and about to experience the biggest bang in its history. So far, we have seen how a giant cloud of gas and dust collapsed to form our solar system and how the Earth's molten iron core created a magnetic field that protected the planet from the deadly effects of the solar wind. The Earth's formation was a violent and dramatic process, but an even more astonishing event was about to take place, a collision so large that it would melt the whole planet. And the only reason we know this event happened is thanks to a large object circling over our heads.